Welcome to Packard Portraits, where we share some time with people right across Australia. In particular, those that have chosen Kenworth and DAF trucks to be a driving force in their business. In this snapshot, we are pleased to introduce you to a Packard customer story. My name is Rolf Gomes. I'm the founder of the Heart of Australia program. I'm a practicing cardiologist both in Brisbane and with the program. So the Heart of Australia is really about bringing the medical profession to the people out in the bush who need it. And by doing that, what we avoid is the burden of travel and displacement from community for a lot of those patients who, for practical, economical reasons, just wouldn't have access to the specialist care which people in the city take for granted. So here we are in a mobile uh, specialist trailer with essentially everything you would find in my cardiology practice in Brisbane and uh, arriving with more than just a stethoscope with the capacity to do stress testing, cardiac ultrasound. What we can do is avoid repeat trips for patients uh, to go for frequent tests to and from the city. We can essentially listen to the history, do the tests, provide a diagnosis and commence treatment for those patients potentially within the one visit. So the benefits in terms of picking up patients who otherwise would not have presented with their symptoms, to have them properly screened. If there is something serious going on, we can address it at the time. If there isn't, we can provide reassurance. It provides a lot of reassurance for the practicing GPs and medical fraternity out in these communities because we can eliminate a lot of the guesswork if they think there is a potential cardiac problem, well, there's really no reason why those patients can't be properly assessed because we're coming to them. So, I mean, in the last few months, what we've found is there's a lot of patients out there who have quite significant underlying cardiac disease. What I'm talking about, uh, patients who have now been referred for urgent open heart surgery. And uh, those sort of interventions at the end of the day do save lives. These are patients who otherwise would not have been uh, picked up at early stages in their disease. They would either have uh, succumbed to a heart attack and some of those would potentially die. About a third of patients only have one heart attack which kills them. So these are patients in you know, 10 months time who will be sitting around spending Christmas with their families who otherwise may have been in a coffin. So the Heart of Australia vision, it's probably taken close to maybe in excess of five years to, to bring it from a vision to a reality. And there's been a lot of hard work in that process. You know, we went down a lot of dry gullies finding like-minded organisations to come on board and support the initiative. A GP commented not long ago that apart from the direct benefit it offers to those patients who we see diagnose underlying conditions and treat, the broader community benefits in terms of improving the livability of those, those towns is, is also quite an important benefit. For example, this one GP who said to me she'd been in uh, that town for almost 30 years. And in the past, patients had uh, come to her as they're getting older and accumulating more and more medical conditions had, uh, and had quite frankly asked her, should we stay in this town or should we move close to the city because our health situation is now a little bit more precarious and she said quite frankly that in the past she hadn't discouraged them because in a way they were right so what the service now brings to the town apart from the direct health benefit to those patients who we see and treat is the wider psychological benefit for the community in terms of providing uh, mental security that there's a link with health proper health services. Um, so that has a much wider benefit to a community in terms of uh, the, the, the economy of the community, the, um, the population, the, the general mental well-being of the community. Depression is a major problem out in regional areas and certainly mental health is something which has had a lot of attention recently. And I think initiatives such as Heart of Australia, as well as the organisations who have really thrown their weight behind the program, sends a very strong message that despite the local problems with drought, someone out there gives a damn. And I think that's, that's wonderful to see that people are all doing their bit to, to bring what is 
really not a luxury but essential services to these areas. I'd just like to thank uh, Packer and Kenworth for being the first to put up their hand to support the initiative when it was at the very early stages just a vision. Mm -hmm.